Ah, the Toki stole my stuff. I gotta get him back. Hello, Internet. I'm Color Flarty. So, see that head there? That's gonna play an important role in a bit. Also, we should move these things next to the cracked walls. That's just something we should do. Oh, wow! Leave me alone! I- I don't know nothing? I mean, I'm innocent! I don't know whose shovel it is. Really. And hey, it's Rosa! We remember her from Oracle of Seasons. Hi, do you like- remember me? I'm Rosa! You like, forgot we dated? This is my first long trip in like, forever! And I saw some weirdo with the shovel I had seen before, so I like, asked if he knew you. Then he like, got all excited and went leaping off somewhere. What a weirdo. Was that like, your shovel? If you don't hang on to it, it could like, wash out to sea. I mean, we get my shovel back. Thank you, Rosa. You are a gem. Actually, the name, the theme of my trip is The Independent Woman, so you have to wait for another date. Alright, that's fair. Gotta find yourself before you date- Oh boy! Without my sword, this guy will actually be a big pain! So now that we have our shovel, we can go in here, and this is the Toki of the Sword. Hey, you're the one who I, um, I'm glad you came. I was thinking maybe I should hide, I mean, maybe I should go give this back to you. Here. We got our wooden sword back, yay. That's all I picked up, but maybe some other Toki took other stuff too. But maybe not. Maybe you should look around. These are Tokis. They're the weird island creatures. Yeah. We can't get that chest yet, Ivor. Basically, putting that little, like, green thing next to the cracked wall will affect what happens in the future. This is Crescent Island. I've never seen a Toki like you before. Are you- you have ears. Are you a Volnir Toki? Or Toke? I'm sorry. Ooh, Octoroks. Oh, no. Can't go over there. Buy something, a shield for 50 rupees? No way! Then be gone! How dare you! Now I've gotta find some hearts. There we go, there's one. I like this area, Crescent Island. It's very well put together, and the dungeon's awesome. Almost died from a spider. Take that, you lever. Alright, there we go. Also, I like the music here. Ah oh, yes, we can't do anything in here just yet. Our guardian is at the center of the island. When the sun climbs high into the sky, the sea comes in and you can't get to him. There's a spot just like this on the west side of the island. I like this music. It's little chickens. How cute. Put vine sprouts by strange walls for good luck. Full circle. There was a scent seed tree here in here long ago. If you planted a seedling now, it would take hundreds of years to grow. 400 years to be precise. If you want something, we can trade. I want my power bracelet back, it's legally mine. That's the hoop I found, I'll trade it for 10 cent seeds. You don't have cent seeds? Then I'll trade you for your shovel. Yeah, we can't actually just take back what's legally ours. We have to actually get new stuff and give it to him. 
Well, now that we've got our power bracelet, we can do a lot. Let's start by going through here. Oh, actually, we can't do anything in here just yet. We need another item in order to do that. First thing we're going to do is go for here. Doom, 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 doom. And we got our bombs back. Sweet. Cracked blocks. They can blow up. And we get a Gasha Seed. Sweet. Now that we've got our bombs, there's that cracked wall up there. Over by the house, we got our uh, power bracelet back. There's a little something we can do here. Hey, Yellow Toki! Welcome to the Wild Toke, a game room for all fit Toke. Today's prize is this. If you want this scent seedling, take the Wild Toki Challenge. It costs 10 rupees, sure. Want to hear the rules? Sure. Pass meat to each Toki that runs by on the left and right. If you give me meat, if you give meat to each one, you win. If you skip even one, you fail. Understand? Yep. Then let's get started. Ready? Go! I had a hard time with this game the first time I played. It's not too bad, though. When there's a bunch in a row like this, though, it gets very hard. Okay, that, I don't even see how that was possible. It's 10 rupees to try again. I had like eight Tokis in a row. That is not fair. Okay, so I just got really bad luck with one of my patterns. Yeah, see, that time was way easier. Congratulations, take the prize. And we get the scent seedling. Maybe it will produce many seeds. Well, I hope so. So before we go to this new area on the left side of the island, there were some rocks up here that I want to use. I totally just crushed that Toki with my rock. This is our precious tree nursery. They say a scent tree was planted here a long ago. If I had a seedling, I'd plant it here. Hey, is that a scent seedling? Let's plant it. Huh? What's wrong? It's not gonna- it's not like it's gonna get big right away. It takes a long, long time for a seed to become a tree. Don't worry, I'll take care of it, so come back after a long, long time. I wonder what he could mean by that. Now we gotta get our Harp of Ages back. Harp of Ages cleft for me. That's how the song goes, right? Oh, sweet free bombs. Okay, we can't do anything in there. There's that guy with our harp. We can't do anything in there, just trust me. Alright, we gotta get Rock's Fever now. 
So this is a lot of backtracking, yes, I will give you that. But, the dungeon makes up for it. The dungeon's really fun. Aegis has some really good dungeons. A few huge stinkers as well. First give me my hoop back, then you can get your shovel. I found that feather, you can have it for 10 mystery seeds. You don't have mystery seeds, then I'll trade you for your shovel, sure. And now we get Rock's Feather. So a lot of the places we go with Rock's Feather, we can go with the Power Bracelet. So like, jumping over these pits, it just takes us over here. So that's a very simple uh, thing to maneuver in here. Hey, you're the one who I, um, I'm glad I came. I was thinking I should hide. No, I'll give this back to you. And we get the Zora Flippers back. That's all I picked up, but maybe some other Tokis took some stuff too. And now we actually have to get our power bracelet back again. So that part's annoying, but... Oh well. There's gonna be backtracking in any Zelda game. It's just a fact of life. Thank goodness he wants my shovel so badly. Then again, if I was on a beach, I'd want a shovel. More than a feather. Take that. Alright, so we're gonna go back up in here. Now we can swim across here. Nice little side-scrolling segment. And it's you. Hey, uh... Oh boy. And now we get our seed satchel back. Which means we can use the mystery seeds to get our feather back. So we land on that seed, so what we're gonna do is go back up. We gotta push our seed back to the proper place. Thankfully the Toki who stole our seed satchel didn't take all the seeds out of it. So 10 mystery seeds, yes please. Now we get Rock's Feather and the Power Bracelet. That's exactly what we need. Also, if you see the map, Crescent Island. No relation to the Diddy Kong Racing course, unfortunately. That was a fun course. Boom, boom, boom. Alright, so now that we're in here, we can get through this place. There's, there are pots surrounding that, so we actually can't swim up on there. And this is where Rock's Feather is needed. Now we're at the other side of the island, and we can get our Harp of Ages back. Also, of course, there just has to be the one shovel clump in the way. So we have to go all the way back to the beginning of the island just to get our shovel back.
Stupid Weaver. Alright. Oh wait, no, we can't get our shovel yet, that's right. We gotta travel for time! I like the harp in this Zelda game, I do not like it in Skyward Sword at all, though. Motion controls are not great for that game, in my opinion. There's a winding maze beneath this island, maybe. Ah, it's good to be in the present. This is the Wild Toki Museum! We Toka used to play here long ago, but not anymore. The Toki on your left and right are real. I mean, real-looking Toki. They won't respond if you try to talk to them. Let's hope those are just wax figures. One, two, three! Is that a lot? I need to learn my numbers. And hey look, it's a scent seed tree! And the chickens are big now. And also the hut moved places. It's said that long, long ago, we toki with no- a uh, no toki with no tail opened the guardian's mouth. I cannot read, apparently. I had to cook dinner for all the toki, but my dough is all stepped up. I- I cook, I will taste awful. Give him the stink bag? Yep. Huh? What's that? RIP sniff. EW! P.U. That smell! Oh! Ew! What was that? My nose stains. That was stinky. Stinky? That smell! It cleared up my nose! Thanks! That stink bag did it. I need it! It's unbearable! I'll trade you something really good for it. We get the tasty meat! It's the chef's specialty. Sweet. Okay, now that's kind of bad design. Boo 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 doo doo doo. What is over here, I wonder? Oh, that's right. It's a Gasha seed plot. Yes, I would love to plant a Gasha tree there. I do- ah, oh, this place is nice. I love the music. And when it's in the present, the beach looks beautiful. I love the green palm trees. I miss the green trees. It's winter right now. Hey, you! Listen to me! It takes a long time for trees to grow. The same goes for that vine you climbed down. That's the third dungeon! However, we can't reach the third dungeon right now. I just realized, I don't think you get your shield back from the Toki. That's annoying. Alright, now we get scent seeds! The smell attracts monsters. Open your seed satchel to use them. Scent seeds on a regular playthrough? Not that great. On a cursed playthrough? They're pretty nice. Being able to manipulate enemies' locations is very useful. And it looks like this is going to be a long episode, but that's fine. We're very close to the dungeon now. We just need to get our shovel back. I really don't want to pay 50 uh, rupees for a shield, so I won't. You don't need it for the uh, dungeon. That's the hoop I found. I'll trade it for 10 cent seeds. Sure. You've got all your items. I didn't get my shield back. The developers need to fix that. Because you could have spent 30 rupees on a shield and then some doofus Toki just steals it from you. Take that. Now 
Now we gotta go through this again. Boom, ba -doom, boom, 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 Maybe I'll cut out some of this backtracking. Now we'll use the shovel. And full HP for entering the dungeon. Excellent. So now we're at this part of the island. I believe this is a fairy fountain. Yep. Come see me whenever your quest has made you weary. She'll give you full HP. Whoa, the crab is levitating on water! This should not be happening, it should sink! <laughs> Under the sea! Under the sea, darling, it's better down where it's wetter. Take it from me. Up on the shore, they work all day. Out in the sun, they start to play. While we be boating full time to floating under the sea. Shut up. All right. This brings us at last to the third dungeon. Level 3, the Moonlit Grotto, and that's where we're going to leave the episode off for today. Thanks for watching, I'm Colorful Arty. If you tune in for the next episode, we might beat the dungeon, or we might just make some progress in it. I hope to see you then. Have a great day, and God bless.